Every single day, somebody asks me whether or not Fiverr is still a good way to make money online and whether or not Fiverr is oversaturated. And honestly, if you're someone who's about to ask me this question or you've asked this question and you haven't already given selling on Fiverr a shot, I challenge you to use this video and spend the next 30 days trying to sell and make money on Fiverr. Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Mike Nardi. I make videos on this channel where I talk about Fiverr, freelancing, making money online, and a lot of other stuff I'm interested in. If you're new here or if you're not new here and you've watched these videos and you find them helpful and valuable, please consider subscribing. It would be really cool to get these subscription numbers up. I really appreciate it. Okay, so Fiverr's been around for over 10 years now, and when it first started out, Fiverr was a place where you could buy things for $5 and you know get a freelancer to do something for you for five bucks. For freelancers, it was a great way to make extra money online and for people looking to get stuff done, it was a way that you could get something done for only $5. It was pretty awesome. Since then, since Fiverr first started 10 years ago, it has pretty much exploded. Fiverr has IPO'd, become a public company worth billions of dollars. You know, more buyers and more sellers are on the platform than ever before. And you can now sell services for more than $5. You can even sell services for thousands of dollars. It's really opened up a whole new world of possibilities for freelancers and people looking to make money online. I've been selling on Fiverr for almost three years now. I started selling $5 emails for people. I'm a copywriter, so I would write emails for them. And now I sell a range of copywriting services ranging from $35 to $1,000 per order. So going back to the point of this video, I want to answer the question of whether or not Fiverr is too saturated to start on as a new Fiverr seller and then challenge you to try Fiverr for 30 days. So starting with the question of whether or not Fiverr is too saturated. And I absolutely hate that question, by the way. So the short answer to whether or not Fiverr is saturated or not is yes, Fiverr is saturated. The longer answer to that question and how I think about that question is, what is the issue with Fiverr being saturated or not? Isn't Fiverr being saturated a good thing, a sign that it's grown and become popular worldwide? I really don't understand the premise of that question. To me, that question shows a bit of a fundamental flaw a lot of people have when they think about things. You know, when I hear that question, what I'm hearing is that the person asking that question is afraid to give making money a shot if making money is hard or if it's something that's difficult to do. You know, if Fiverr saturated, maybe I shouldn't try making money on Fiverr. I, I don't understand the logic because anything that is worth doing to make money online is going to have competition, is going to be challenging, and is not going to be easy. So let me ask you then, do you know of any way or method to make money online that's not difficult? an easy way to make money online? If you do, what are you doing here watching this video? You should be out making easy money online because you know how to do that, right? But let's be real here. I'm reluctant to believe that that's the case and if you're here watching this video, it's probably because you realize that making money online or making money on Fiverr is not easy. In my experience, I've learned that to make money in anything, you need to work hard, you need to try hard, you need to not give up, and you need to be looking for ways that you can provide value to people. There's no shortcuts to that type of success. So if you're here looking for a really easy way to make money on Fiverr, I really hate to be the person to break it to you, but Fiverr takes work, Fiverr takes effort, and Fiverr takes a professional attitude. Now. Is Fiverr a great place to make money online? Yes. Does Fiverr being saturated mean that you should not try selling on Fiverr? No. Honestly, just think about it like this. When you hear someone say, oh, Fiverr is saturated, think of that as a positive thing. Fiverr being saturated means that Fiverr has become well-known and widespread. It's saturated with both buyers and sellers. So if you're a seller, you could actually benefit from Fiverr being saturated because more potential buyers know about it and they'll find you there. You can succeed on Fiverr. Regardless of whether you think Fiverr is saturated or not saturated, there are a couple of key things you can do that will have the biggest impact on whether or not you're successful as a Fiverr seller. And the thing with these things I'm about to list here is that they have absolutely nothing 
nothing to do with whether or not fiber is saturated. They have everything to do with you and how effective you are at selling your services as a fiber seller. The first fundamental thing that will affect your ability to be successful on Fiverr is whether or not you provide a valuable service. If you're sitting there and you can't think of something that you can do that will offer value to a potential buyer, you need to stop thinking about whether or not Fiverr is saturated and start thinking about what you can learn, what you can get good at, and what you can practice that will provide value to people on Fiverr. Because regardless of whether or not Fiverr is saturated, if you can offer no value to people, nobody's gonna hire you. So that's number one. Figure out what you can do that offers value. The second thing that's gonna affect whether or not you can be successful on Fiverr is whether you think of Fiverr as a business or something professional, if you're, or if you view Fiverr as something that's a hobby and you don't really care about it. The long and short of it is Fiverr has grown so much that buyers on the platform have gotten used to buying from freelancers who treat this like a business, who are professional and deliver outstanding quality work. If you're joining the platform and you're not someone who treats Fiverr seriously, why would someone want to buy a service from you versus the other person who does take it seriously? People want to buy from someone who's going to treat them with professionalism and respect. And the third thing that is going to be absolutely fundamental to whether or not you are able to succeed on Fiverr is whether or not you're going to quit. Being successful on Fiverr does take time. It takes time to figure out what you're gonna sell, it takes time to create a gig, to take a great photo for that gig, to write a good subject line, to write a good description, and then to find customers. That all takes time. So whether it takes a week, a month, two months, six months, are you gonna give up? If you have it in your head that you are gonna quit if it doesn't happen for you fast, then your chances of failure are gonna be a lot higher than people who don't quit. The reality is it takes time. Fiverr can be a great thing, but you need to put in the work, the legwork, and the time to get your business set up on Fiverr. So the third thing you need to do is really think to yourself, am I gonna quit or am I going to stick with it? If you're gonna stick with it, and if you're gonna stick with it and do the right things, you're gonna have a higher chance of succeeding. So here's my challenge for you. Over the next 30 days, try selling on Fiverr. And in these next 30 days of trying to sell on Fiverr, your goal isn't to get an order. No, 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 I know. You're probably thinking, of course my goal is to get an order. Not in this challenge. So try selling on Fiverr for 30 days, and in these 30 days, here are three things I want you to try to focus on that might help you be successful and set you up for success down the road. The first thing is to take time, as long as it takes, to figure out what you can offer that will provide real value to people. Whether that takes a day, two days, a week, sit there, research, figure out what you're good at, figure out what you wanna get good at, find something that you can do that will offer people value, and that should be the gig or the service you, you focus on after these 30 days. The second thing you're gonna focus on in this 30 Day Fiverr Challenge is to set your profile up, your gig, your images, to all look great. Create a great profile picture, a well-written description, a catchy Fiverr subject line, a good Fiverr gig thumbnail, a great Fiverr gig description. Take some time to set your gig up so that your gig can help you be successful. And the third thing I want you to do in these 30 days is to make a plan. You're not just gonna post this gig and wait. If you want to get orders on Fiverr and if you wanna make money on Fiverr and you don't wanna wait forever, you need to make a plan, whether that's cold calling people, emailing people, telling your friends, getting your gig out there. What's your plan gonna be? Because if your plan is to just sit there and wait, it's gonna take a long time. But if your plan is to be proactive in selling your gig, you're gonna speed things up a lot for yourself. If you can do these three things over the next 30 days, I promise you, you will have a massive edge and advantage over any other new Fiverr seller starting on the platform. Because the reality is a lot of people rush. They hear about Fiverr, they see videos on this channel or other channels and say, oh my gosh, I wanna make money on Fiverr. That's great. But by rushing, they're not taking the time to set their profiles and gigs up to help them succeed. So if you do these three things and focus on them for 30 days or however long that is, you are taking the time and putting in the effort to set yourself up for success, and that's gonna pay big time down the road. Now, if you can spend 30 days doing these three things, the next 30 days, 
try actively selling your gig. In that next 30 days, if you can sell one order, that's fantastic. If you can sell more than one order, you're crushing it. If you sell zero orders, don't give up. So if you get anything out of this video, it's that you need to take some time. Take 30 days to do the right things to set yourself up for success and have the mindset that it's gonna take time. And for that next 30 days, have the goal of selling one order. If you sell more, pat yourself on the back, you're a champion. If you don't sell any, don't give up. I'm gonna put a bunch of links of other helpful videos in the description to help you do things that'll help you be proactive in selling your gigs. I'll put a couple of videos where I put free sales templates in there, you know, negotiation strategy, how to sell your gig, how to tweak your gig, whatever I can that I think will be helpful in your, in your little experiment to try selling on Fiverr. But the moral of this video is to not give up and to focus on the right things and to have the right mindset. Selling on Fiverr can be fantastic. It can be life-changing, but having a negative mindset about it being saturated or being too hard or taking too long are just going to hold you back and stop you from finding that level of success. So I hope this video was helpful. Check the description. I'm going to put some other helpful links to other videos that might help you along in this 30, 60 day uh, trial Fiverr journey. And I want to hear from you. So leave a comment. Let me know how it went. Some of the things you did that worked out really well and some of the things that didn't work so well. And maybe me and other people on this channel can respond to your comment to help you out. So I wish you the best of luck. Remember, work hard, offer something that provides value, and don't give up, and I'm sure you'll be successful. So until next time, cheers.